Hello, my name is Joe and I go to a certain university in Santa Barbara, California that has a certain reputation for partying. That's right, this video is going to be all about party schools, what is fact, what is fiction, and what you should be thinking about when considering one of these schools. It is very easy to look at some schools and group them together as party schools. However, just because a school has a certain reputation doesn't mean that they're all the same. Nor does it mean that each student at one of these schools will have the same experience. As I like to say, college is what you make of it. So you have the choice to go out on a Friday night or just get dinner, stay in, and play Cards Against Humanity with some friends. Also, if you were to change the category from party schools to schools that have parties, then every college campus in the nation would apply. When I was in high school, I used to think that universities with reputations for partying were all somehow the same, or that if you went to one of these schools, it meant that everyone there goes out to a lot of parties. Colleges might have the party reputation for a number of reasons, however. If a lot of the students are involved in Greek life, if there isn't that much to do in the surrounding area around the campus, and in the case of my university, if the university has a history in the past of wild parties. Personally, I almost let this reputation scare me away from applying to the school that I currently attend. I let it distract me from all the other wonderful things that the school has going for it. I also watched a ton of YouTube videos and read a ton of things on the internet that really overemphasized the party culture aspect. So why did I choose this school? When I took a serious look at what the university has to offer, I was blown away. I decided that I could see myself studying there and living there, and I was really happy with my choice in the end. Of course, I was still pretty nervous. When I arrived at my freshman orientation, I was worried that I wouldn't fit in with other people. I was concerned that I wouldn't meet people that I got along with, or that I wouldn't get along with people who enjoyed going out to parties. However, after the first couple weeks of school, I was doing fine, and I learned what it really meant to go to a party school. So here it is, what it's really like at a party school. What I have found is that there is a whole spectrum of people who like going out to parties. You have people that go out a couple times a week, but then you also have people that don't go out at all. And then there's everyone else in between those two points. Personally, I've been able to make friends with people on all points of the spectrum. My university is fantastic because it puts on a ton of programs for people who aren't going out to parties. And for that reason, I'm never bored here. Once again, college is what you make of it. It's wonderful and exciting, but it's okay to be nervous. It's just better to listen to yourself and decide where to attend rather than let something you heard make that decision for you. Well, thanks for watching. I hope that that addressed any questions or concerns you have about the topic. I know for me, when I was in high school, I feel like that kind of advice and perspective would have helped me in the process of selecting what school to attend a lot. So, thanks.